Hey, this is Noah. This is going to be a weird hodgepodge video, but this is going to be some coverage of Famcom Detective Club in general. Before I even get into what will probably take up the majority of this, according to the Japanese charts, Famicom Detective Club is actually in Nintendo's top 10 in Japan for sales. I believe the numbers include both of them as, as one unit, but individually, both titles are also going to be selling more, so those numbers might even be higher, optimistically speaking. I don't know what the numbers are for here in North America. If I'm being honest, I'm a little nervous to look. I ended up buying the game twice because uh, I bought the special edition that was only in Japan. Very nice. There was a foreboding aura because one of the people in the comments, I'll probably throw it up on screen, specified that they were already planning to do the same because they were aware that I was not going to be able to play the physical version in English. And I chose to buy this under the impression that I would be able to. I did not listen to the comment. Because I have been aware, and other people might have had different experiences, I've bought digital games from the Japanese eShop before, downloaded them on my system, uh, and the story went... I bought some of the games that were only available on the Japanese eShop, and later when it got English releases on the North American eShop, they started playing in English. So even though I had bought them from the Japanese thing, they were playing in English on my system. Okay, good so far. Well, I figured if that works, then surely the cartridge version should be the same, right? Nope, not even sort of. So I ended up buying the game digitally alongside this. As a, a forewarning for people who are intending to buy this, or maybe in general, if you think about buying Japanese physical games know that at the very least in this case that happens what's also interesting is both of the games are on a single cartridge i've never seen that before normally and I, I was immediately caught on by this because in the physical version unlike stuff like la noir it doesn't have like a, a thing on there somewhere saying yeah it's, it's you gotta have internet connection for the other game legit it's just the one cartridge and it's weird Never seen that before. If anyone knows of any other instances where that's been the case, let me know, because I'm actually curious. So, this is neat. I was about to start quoting J.K. Simmons, <laughs> and that would have been very not safe for work. <laughs> anyway, so it includes a soundtrack. It's very cute. A couple bangers up. Yep. I don't know what you would call these. I guess they're like posters. I, I think... I want to say that these are, like, they almost make me think of, like, ads for the game, like you might see in Nintendo Power. Because I was going to say, for uh, the Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon, proper English release, the special edition that's sitting over there, they have a mock-up of a Nintendo Power magazine cover, or hypothetically, if it had been released in North America. So maybe that's what they're doing with these. I think this is an art book. I forgot because I have not looked at the uh, Amazon listing. Gotta take off this stupid thing. Immediately devalue the thing. Nobody wants this. Can't I don't like speak. Village sold out in a okay, yeah, day. this is this is an art book. There's commentary that I'm not able to Careful, read. There might be some. Ooh, that's a good point. It's too bad I literally can't read this. Oh no. Old jaded lady. I guess I'm spoiled on is the that game now. Handy? That's Space Dandy, my favorite character. This is just the main character lady, but like, this is the bootleg version. This guy looks like he touches children. That's not cool. Oh! See this guy? Dante? This guy's basically like the gatekeeper. That makes him cool. I like her, she's hot. Like the 11th hour old Oh, the 11th hour old man! Perfect. Some of the backgrounds. Oh, they got, oh, that's cute. They have, like, maps of the area. That's kind of unnecessary. You don't really need it. It's just literally to help you visualize what's going on. I don't think you really need it. What is this? Just screenshots from the game? That sort of doesn't make any sense. Dude, that person has a concussion. That's that base. That person's gonna die. <laughs> Imagine. Okay, and now the second half of this... Is talking. This is the second game, the one that I actually played a little bit of the original. What I'm curious about, though, now that I'm thinking about it, just a random thought that's occurred Whoa, to me. That's children. Get off my stream. Just go. 
You've already proven what you're into. Okay, go play Smash or something. Go be with your people. A, a, a hypothetical that crossed my mind is um, there's technically a third game in the series. I'm sitting here wondering what if they could do like a, a, a DLC expansion for these games. Kind of in the same way, bad comparison, but here, I'm rolling with it. Uh, kind of in the same way that Fire Emblem Fates has the two games and then they have a DLC third game, sort of. Different route. Or maybe just make a third game. Uh, you want yeah. them to add to your game? They apparently already did! Thanks to you! Get out of my sight! I like anyway. To, you know, I like to think that that little, like, sticker just translates to spoiler warning. I'll probably do some more videos about this game, because I'm genuinely interested. I just haven't had a whole lot of time to actually play it. Don't you hate that, being an adult? You like this video? Feel free to check out some other ones. That's pretty much all there is to this. So, uh... Famicom Detective Club is doing decent in Japan. Special edition is neat. Can't read any of it. But, PSA, if you actually want to play the game, and you don't speak Japanese, don't buy this one. Besides, this is probably just inflating the Japanese numbers, so this is probably making it seem like as if uh, North America still doesn't care about it, so maybe me buying it the second time in North America helped improve those numbers. So, thank you for watching. This is Noah. That's Famicom Detective Club. Special edition numbers and all the things. <laughs>